Somewhere in the location currently known as Great Britain, there is an organisation dedicated to the activity known as science, and other such important things like math, bacon, and that one simple dream that any man can shoot lasers out of his eyes. We now go to that organisation known as That Science Company. Hello there, Bird. Is uh, everything going according to plan over there? Why, everything's as right as rain over here. I did hear a pretty loud explosion coming from your neck of the woods. Oh my god, the humanity! Everything is completely under control. Look, I'm the one who got you this job in the first place, so you can at least tell me if I'm going to die in the next five minutes. Things were getting a little heated so I started to drop in. And why did you hire me? Let me show you. Years ago, that science company tried to discover the united theory of Funkonomics to help discover how funk relates to the economy. But when raw butter got spilled onto the economics machine, it opened a hole to a parallel dimension of funk that all the scientists got sunk into. They all refused to come out of the dimension because they all wanted to become musicians. We had no choice but to tape off the area and forget the whole event ever happened. Now see here, Bert, if you tell me what happened in your lab, I'll tell you the secret of the funk dimension. I thank you for your kind offer, but I'm not going to tell you. But surely, you're a man of science, surely you want to know the truth. Yeah, but my information is just more valuable than yours. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I'll tell you anyway. The funk dimension didn't actually turn them into musicians. They all died through lack of oxygen horribly. Now that makes sense. They probably just sell it to the family so they don't have to pay them compensation. Exactly. We can't afford to pay compensation to everyone who falls through a dimensional rift. I mean, we'd be basically bankrupt. So, yeah, enough riff raff. What's going on in your lab? I'm not authorised to tell you. I'm the head of research and development. You need to tell me what's going on. Look, the board said don't tell anyone unless I have to. Don't make me hit you with my transdimensional spoon. But if you hit me with that spoon, I won't be able to tell you a thing. <laughs> It's just dawned on me that the problem might be getting out of hand, so this should explain all. After years of splicing different animals together and then attaching rockets to them, we have finally come up with our ultimate creation. The rocket-powered cheetah shark was created for one purpose, cutting down on the time it takes to deliver letters overseas. But the process of making it can be highly flammable, so make sure your progress does not go up in smoke. So that's what's in the vents. So, do you have any ideas? Take the last coordinates of your teleportation, we'll calibrate it with the pan's dimensional spoon, add a hint of lemon, then send the creature off to the funk dimension. For science! We did it. Huzzah.
So, as you can see from that dramatic reconstruction, working together across multiple departments can be a fantastic way for future employees, just such as yourself, to come together and help stop a whole variety of problems, including hunger, poverty, and those pesky time-travelling squids from stealing pies. Look forward to other orientation videos, such as It Appears My Brain Isn't a Monkey, and Holy shit, where's my penis? For the love of God, where is my penis? Peace out. <laughs>